hello there guys this video is very depressing so if you don't want to get too depressed you don't have to watch this video but i have to do my job and i have to present the show this way so i'm telling you we have to stop laughing at other club stop the banter right now because we are bottler we are a banter club chelsea football club went from 17 games unbeaten to losing two stupid games away my goodness those games were there to be won they were easy for us to win we didn't win we didn't take any advantage of uh, our opponent bad result so I'm not going to laugh at Arteta or Arsenal right now. I'm not going to make fun of Man United because Chelsea Football Club, we are in crisis. We are in, in big trouble because every time we are under pressure, we collapse. And teams are going to target us. They are going to push just a little bit and we are going to collapse. We don't have leaders. We don't have the spine in the team that can push people and tell them, let's keep going. We still have 10 minutes to go. Keep going, keep fighting. Besides Thiago Silva in the defense, who can, you know, maybe talk to people in sign language or something because he can't speak English. Nobody else in the midfield, everybody is quiet in the attack. Everybody is quiet. Nobody is telling nobody what to do and how to push. So, I wanted just to tell you that we are in serious trouble and we have to stop laughing at other clubs. Everybody is going to find a scapegoat. Why you didn't do this and why you did that? That is the nature of this business is a result driven business if you don't win games people are going to question you i know frank lampa is going to be under a lot of pressure and most of the pressure is coming from social media nothing serious from the board or the owner because they gave him three years to build his team and they understand the time it takes to build a team i told you guys that it's gonna take up and downs ups and downs so i'm not that surprised i'm discouraged i feel very bad but the end of the day i didn't really expect more than this if you expected chelsea to win every single game win every single trophy you are going to be very discouraged but for me i knew it but it's not normal for us to lose games away at Everton and also against Wolves. It's unacceptable for a team like Chelsea Football Club. Let me make it clear. In this kind of circumstance, everybody is going to bring their agenda. If you don't like Frank Lampard or a particular player, you are going to get on them. This is a perfect opportunity for you to get your frustration out there. But if you look closely and you think outside the box, and you start understanding little by little what's going on in this team. I don't think Frank Lampard could have done better. But I know, man, everybody is going to be a coach. Everybody is going to say he should have done this and that. But before the game, nobody said nothing. Everybody was positive and saying Chelsea were going to win this game easily. Christian Pulisic is back. Blah, 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 blah. The formation is good. But when you draw a game or you lose a game, all the experts are going to switch and flip flop and say, mm, you could have done this and that. This was the right way. That was the right way. Did you say anything before the game? No. Hypocrite, right? You can get on whoever you want because I can't control your emotions. It's normal after a game that everybody goes crazy and find scapegoat but if you look at the formation the system the team everything looked very good and positive we created a lot of chances we didn't take our chances 
that been the problem since last season and this season is even worse because we bought some quality in the final third but those quality like Kai Harvard, Timo Werner are not doing anything exceptional they will do good in one game and two games they flop completely Tammy Abraham learning his trend Olivier Giroud I told you Giroud is a good plan B when you play him week in and week out is a different story but of course he scored a goal and everybody is going to bail him out but overall look at a poor game that Olivier Giroud had so if you look at the big picture there is nothing really you can blame the manager on struggling with a lot of injuries struggling with illness in the team and struggling with the poor form from his players what else he could have done well I, I guess you know exactly what he could have done to win the game but I don't know man I don't know we are lacking some strong mentality in that team and that's why the Declan Rice transfer kind of makes sense because he's a leader and he can command that midfield and also the attack Thiago Silva is in the defense and the guy can't even speak English how do you expect him to lead the entire team man it is what it is we dropped three more three more points and the title looks like a thousand miles away I said it you know a couple of weeks ago I got a lot of sticks from people telling me you are not positive why you say that uh, the title is over blah 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 as if I said something positive is going to happen I mean I'm just a guy I'm just a fan okay giving my side of story I don't know how my word are going to change anything in the Chelsea team you know what I'm trying to say anyways guys it is what it is three point dropped and it's gonna be a long season now the question is what next for Chelsea Football Club if I was in charge I will go back to the basics I will go to the Academy because I have nothing to lose anymore the so-called odd and world-class players that we have in the team are letting the manager down over and over again they don't have the strong mentality and the youngsters from the academy they have nothing to lose they wanna cement their place in the first team and they're gonna give it all you know what I mean 